In this video, we are going to take a look at the topological sorting in a graph. So this topological sorting is only for a directed a cyclic graph or DAG and this sorting is a linear ordering of vertices V1, V2 to Vn if there are n vertices such that for every edge directed from Vi to Vj, Vi comes before Vj in the ordering. So let's say there are two vertices Vi and Vj and there is an edge from Vi to Vj that means in the ordering Vi has to come before Vj. It means that Vj has a dependency on Vi. So Vi is a task that must be completed before we go to Vj. So this is a graph traversal in which each node V is visited only after all its dependencies have been visited. Now these graph vertices could represent the tasks to be completed and the edges, these are reflecting the requirements that one work must be completed before another. So that this means that if there is an edge from Vi to Vj, Vi must be completed first before we go to Vj. Now this topological sorting is not possible if the graph is not a directed a cyclic graph. So why is it not possible for graphs with undirected edges? So if there is an undirected edge between Vi and Vj, that means there is an edge from Vi to Vj and from Vj and Vi. Let's look at this graph. If there is this edge, undirected edge between A and B, that means there is an edge from A to B as well as an edge from B to A. So if both the nodes are dependent upon each other, that means none of them can appear before the other in topological ordering. Because in topological ordering we said that that node has to come first from where there the, the edge begins. Here we cannot say where the edge is beginning from. So this topological sorting is not possible with undirected edges. Is it possible for graphs having cycle? No, it is not possible. Let's take this graph having cycles. So there is a cycle between these three vertices. B has a dependency on A because there is an edge from A to B. That means in the ordering, A has to come before B because B is dependent upon A. Then there is an edge from B to C. That means B has to come before C in the ordering because C has a dependency on B. Then there is an edge from C to A. That means C has to come before A because there is a dependency from uh, C on A. So this kind of an ordering where there is no uh, ordering from the between these three vertices because of this cycle there is this vertex here he, he, and here also. So all these vertices are indirectly dependent on each other. So topological sorting it fails. So what are the advantages of so topological sorting where all it can be used? It can, it can be used to schedule jobs based on their dependencies like instruction scheduling in a processor, then evaluation of formulas in spreadsheets. So what should be the ordering during that cell evaluation? What is the order of compilation tasks to perform? Then remo removing symbol dependencies in linkers. So let's take this example of this graph and see how we can find out the topological sorting. And we are going to use the n degree of these nodes to find out the ordering. So first we begin by computing the n degree of each node. So since A has no incoming edges, its n degree is 0. B has one incoming edge, so its n degree is 1. C is having two incoming edges, so its n degree is 2 and so on. Now we begin with the vertex with n degree 0. So here A is that vertex with n degree 0. Why do we choose that? 
a vertex with n degree 0, it shows that there is no dependency on this A. That means there is no incoming edge. That means A can be performed first. A is a task which can be performed first. So that means A should be coming first in the topological ordering. So we are going to choose A, we are going to remove it from the graph. So A comes first in our ordering. Also we are going to remove all the edges outgoing from A. So when we remove A and the outgoing edges, we are left with this graph and A is our first vertex in the ordering. Now we recompute the in degrees again. Because we removed A and the outgoing edges from A, so we see that these edges were connected only to these two vertices B and D. So the in degree of only these two vertices is going to change. So for B now there is no incoming edge, so its in degree becomes 0 and for D there is only one incoming edge, so its degree becomes 1. Again now we have to choose the vertex with in degree 0, that means all its dependencies are done. So we see that B is that vertex. So we choose B and also its outgoing edges. So these are the vertices and the edges that we have to remove from the graph now. So we remove it, add B to our ordering and this is what we are left with. Again we recompute the in degree and we see now that D has an in degree of 0. So the next vertex in our ordering would be D. So now we have chosen D and the outgoing edges that are to be removed that also we have marked. So when we remove this, D has been ordered in the, uh, added in the ordering and the vertex D and its outgoing edges have been removed. Now we see that we are left with two vertices both with in degree 0. Now we can choose either of these two vertices to come first in the ordering. If we choose C then this would be our ordering. If we choose E then this would be our ordering. So we have in this case we have added C, in this case we have added E first. Once we have removed those vertices now we are left with E in this case and C in this case. So now we can add these remaining vertex. So we have added this remaining vertex. So there are two topological orderings that are possible. One is A, B, T, C, E. The other one is A, B, D, E, C. So this is how we can find the topological ordering using uh, in degree. We can also find it using depth first search which we are going to take a look at in our next video.